Hello everyone, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire Bloodlines. Uh, sorry about the abrupt ending last time, but it, uh, I was literally down to one minute on the memory card. And I wound up finding out what that weird little glowing thing was when we were sneaking through the grates before. Uh, it turns out that we had an appointment book for uh, the girl who, Hannah, the girl who just died after telling us uh, that she got sick after meeting with this client over at the fancy hotel. Uh, Arthur Kilpatrick, that sounds familiar. Met Arthur at his place in Santa Monica. I remember bringing the handcuffs and the orange jumpsuit as he likes to play lock down the women's prison. This guy is sick. <laughs> Vandal C, the blood bank. Bring pliers and the blowtorch. Okay. Uh, room 413 of the Lucky Star in Hollywood. He likes that weird umbrella and water balloon thing. Simon Milligan downstairs in his room. God, I hate this guy. Paul Anderson, honest to God date. I can't believe he asked me out. I'm so excited. Just with luck. New client responded to my ad in the paper. She's a sweet the Empire Hotel. I don't know where what to think of this one, but there's something about her voice. I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pass it up. And yeah, Jezebel Locke, that's either a very old name or an alias. Either way, I can't get out here now. So yeah, um, I will say this about this game. I really, uh, reading all that, and you know, this kind of goes along part and parcel with adventure games, and Vampire is a very good uh, system for doing this kind of story that, you know, you really feel genuinely bad for some of these characters and, you know, this poor girl in the city trying to make her way best she can and she is killed by some random vampire, dies painfully of this plague and I'm not on ground floor. Okay, yeah, this was where I came in. Wait, actually, that's the exit. Anything in the brochures? No. Anyway, yeah, this Paul guy died because he was trying to be, you know, nice to this girl, you know, cute upstairs neighbor, and she's genuinely happy that she found a nice guy amongst all the sleazeball she has to deal with, uh, selling herself, and now they're both dead because of some idiot vampire who can't control themselves. And uh, where was that Empire Hotel earlier? Ah, well, let's check the map. Let's see, okay, we're here, Empire Arms is right around that way, and let's see, as pointing in Link 1 Jezebel Locke, as possible Link in the Plague Bear Chain, she makes her residence at the Empire Arms Hotel. That way. in the distance, but blade weapons are as deadly to vampires as they are to humans. The defense feet and lethal soak feet both add to your defense against blades. Alright. Ah. Shmancy. Shmancy. Yes? May I help you? Is there a guest named Jezebel Locke here? Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more um, popular guests. Why do you ask? I need a key to her room. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Oh, well, jeepers, that sounds just nice. Listen, I really need to get into her room. I'm sorry, sir. But if I went back to the office and made a key for everyone who told me that, I'd have lost my job a long time ago. Now, unless there's something else, I have work to attend to. <sighs> you know, attend this later. Whatever, see ya. I understand. Have a nice evening. Hmm. I guess they won't let me know what uh, room she's in. Let's see. Guest logs. Can I hack this one? Please tell me that this has less security than the... Still too low to make attempt at four. Okay. Uh, sweet. I suppose I should not be surprised that the Ritzy Hotel has better security than the, uh, you know, free clinic in the bad part of Santa Monica.
But apparently I don't need to go through that much effort because now I have a key. Oh, please tell me that the fancy goth chick is Jezebel. No, and I can't even talk to her. Can't talk to her. Hmm. Wonder if I can use him to find out which key this door goes to. Or door this key goes to. Nope. Okay. Oh, it sounds like there's a lot more people in here than you'd think. And, uh, okay. This is just a room full of people. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Am I going to have to wander around the hotel until I check out every single room? Let's see, there's men's room, there's ladies' room. Hmm. And I believe she's caught on the door and he's caught on the door. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Yep, let's go close that door. Everybody is uh, kind of standoffish here. <sighs> well, you know, I was going to hope to feed on somebody here in this desolate corner, but... Uh, and all since we've saved, good lord. Well, it's a good thing vampires don't have to go to the bathroom because, uh... Okay, kitchen. Anything in here I can do? Apart from carry the platters around. Huh, rally. Well, it's a heck of a time for me to find interactive objects, but uh, I do have work of a sort to do. Of course, she's probably up on the top floor. Ah, well, it's loading a whole other screen, so clearly this must be the way to go. Let's see, let's point the direction. Okay, still no specific directions, but I do want to bet. Let's see, ballroom. Okay, not even going to give me an attempt on uh, picking the lock here, are we? Well, this one we might, but I need a key card to get through that one. Hey, wait a minute. I got a key card. But just to make sure. Okay, apparently I don't have a key card that will open those. Okay. Let's just go floor by floor then. Forgive me for thinking that, you know, going for the obvious door. Wait, ballroom? Didn't I just leave this party? Oh no, because I can't open these doors. Take it here, Jezebel Locke, he said with a knowing gaze, nudge, nudge. Yes, I am Jezebel, and I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? 
I'm scroused. Yeah, okay, I'm coming in, and Death is coming with me. Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle, and I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Let me guess, you're the Roho, sucking up dead like and her friends. This has gone on long enough, no solution other than final death. That was sudden. Okay, uh, blood buff. ABCs always be closing and Brotherhood Flyer. Man, everybody has a fancier bathroom than I do, it's depressing. Definitely uh, need to feed after that, but let's see what we just got. Brother Flyer, the writing on this fire reads, I am enlightened. Unknown, you are unsure what benefits can be gained from this tome. You need a research skill of at least six to use this item. Well, save that for later and definitely start buffing up research. Because currently I've got... Uh, let's see, my research... Yeah, my research is currently three, which needs to be intelligence, and I can't my intelligence are ahead of. Let's go, let's raise scholarship. And can I do, yeah, I need number six to do that. And eight points to do that. Let's see, can I raise number dot? You gotta admire the hotel security in this place. Nobody noticed two people fighting out in the hallway at all. Thank you. Let's see if there's anybody else hanging around in the uh, bathroom area. Occupied? Anything? No? Okay. Ladies' room? Anyway. Well, that is somewhat realistic. Uh, you'll note that they have three toilets in here rather than the, uh, you know, two. I'm totally getting Duke Nukem flashbacks. Just expect to find somebody on the toilet. I'm dating myself with that reference, but it's not like anybody else will. Yeah, let's see, what have I got? Let's see. You kill a second plague bear and found a fire of a strange symbol. Go talk to Damsel about this. Okay. But yeah, I'm almost up I'm back up to full health now, so that's something. I guess I truly am a quick healer.
just running around firing a gun, and it's not me. So yeah, back to the scuzzy bar where everybody knows my name. And that name is Hey You. hiding around here. Not so much. Of the bashing soul feet as a vampire, each of you bashing soul. So let's do this spell, isn't it? About Paul, he's dead for a few days. It wasn't pretty. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Not a stubborn that way. This proves the plague bearers got him crowned. You know this is what this flyer is? Yeah, I see this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. I'll look for it. Hey, I heard that. Okay, let's see. Damis has told you that the symbol on the fire you found when you killed the second plague bearer is also one of the buildings in town. Let's see. Oh, hey, we saw that earlier. I thought that was the Anarch symbol for a while. <laughs> Vampires are extraordinarily resilient to gunfire. Use blades in your upper vampire disciplines to combat vampires and other supernaturals more effectively. Yeah, because they bleed out pretty easy. Let's see, now where did I see that? No, it was the other corner with the... Uh coming from? Oh, this building. Oh, yeah. First, I do need to uh, fuel up because I hate the heat and run. Comatose from uh, blood loss, will they react if I eat on somebody else next to them? <laughs> Apparently so. Yeah, well. 
uh, best to figure these things out before it becomes important, because I'm, I'm on half. I can probably be okay with that.